I'm Chung Wen with Notebooks.com and here we're in San Francisco with HP. We're going to take a look at HP SimplePass with one-time password. Hello, my name is Chuck Chum with HP's Consumer Notebook line and I'm going to tell you a little bit about HP SimplePass. HP SimplePass is a program that we introduced last year that ties some software along with our fingerprint reader. And really what we noticed, people were complaining that I often forget my password. So we want to make consumers' online experience easier and simpler to use. So you shouldn't have to worry about forgetting your password or have sticky notes stuck to your system with passwords on it that's not very secure. So we integrated uh, uh, some software with our fingerprint reader. What we've done for this year is simplify the UI of it, make it much more consumer friendly. You can see I've got pictures of my hands, some accounts down here. I can simply take an icon, drag it up as I've done here, and assign it to a finger. What this does is it will quickly launch that website, log me in, and now for 2011, do a one-time password. What that does is another level of security so that a password is six-digit code. It's only good one time, and it's only good for 30 seconds. What this means to the consumer is really the days of phishing are just about over. If you have my username and password, you still cannot log into my account because you'll need to generate this one-time code that's tied to my notebook. And I'm going to demonstrate that right now and show you how simple and easy it is. So what I'm going to do is simply swipe my middle index finger, which will launch eBay, and watch it closely. You'll see it fill in my username and password, generate the one-time code, and log me into my account. So here I go. You see it's launching eBay, filling in my username and password, generating a one-time code, and now I'm into my account. It's that easy. A few seconds. Now if I were to give you my notebook and my username and password, you could not log into my account because it would ask for that six-digit code, and without swiping my finger on the fingerprint sensor, you could not generate that code and it would not let you log into my account. The code I just generated a minute ago is no longer valid. It's been used once, so it's no, uh, not, it will not let you log in. So once eBay is tied to SimplePass with this notebook, um, if you were to say switch over to another HP notebook without the biometric security, would you be able to log in? That there way? is uh, other ways. You can, of course, tie other notebooks with, with different fingerprint sensors as well, uh, different tokens, I call it. Or if you forget your token, there is a site on the B, uh, eBay site where it says, I've forgotten my token. What typically will happen is it'll call your phone number on record, say your cell phone, and it'll ask you if you're trying to reset your one-time password. You punch in a, a secure code, and then it'll read it back to you, and you can then enter that, digit, that code that it gives you. And typically that period will be longer than the 30 seconds. So it allows you to access your account even if you don't have your notebook with the fingerprint sensor on it. But by tying it to the notebook, it makes it a little bit more secure. Which... Makes it a lot more secure. So basically, even with, again, with my notebook and my username and password, you can't break into my account. And really, it's sort of combining security and simple, easy to use. And that's what consumers are looking for, so that I can't, if I accidentally lose or give out my username and password through a phishing attack or keyboard logger, it would not allow that person to gain access to my account or make it far more difficult for them to do that. So we have eBay here that you just demonstrated and you associated that with your middle finger. Um, if you were to swipe, say, another finger like an index or a ring finger, that would not work, right? Uh, it would work. It would, any uh, registered uh, a finger that I have authenticated, if I were to simply type eBay into the browser, in fact, I can do that if you'd like. I'll log out of here and close it off. If I sign out, let me close the browser and I can just launch a browser and go to eBay. If I were, say, to do it the normal way, let's, let's go to eBay here. Go to the sign-in. Let me just make this bigger. Go to sign-in down here, and you can see the password remembering part here. It'll go here. Now I can simply swipe any of the fingers that I've got on there. You can see the sensor's telling me it's waiting for input. So it's blinking it's white It's blinking right white, now. and so I will just simply swipe a finger that's been set up, and you'll see it filled in my username, filled in my one-time password, and lo logged me into my account. And if I were to do it, it would be blinking red than the LED by the biometrics? That's correct. If I were to do an incorrect, we can try that. If I sign out and do a finger that's not correct or someone else's finger, so while you're doing that, um, we have eBay, you mentioned PayPal before. Are there any other partners that you're working with or are ready for launch? There are many partners that are being worked on in co uh, cooperation with, uh, co cooperation, excuse me, with, with uh, uh, VeriSign, who's one of the technology providers here. They have not launched yet, so they're still working through that.
So if I go to eBay, as we mentioned, and I go to sign in, and I swipe a finger that is not correct or someone else did it, you'll see it turns orange indicating that I have either a bad swipe or an invalid swipe. Now it's waiting for me to, to provide the correct one. If I do it again with the correct finger, there I did it at an angle, so let me do it correct. There it goes. Logging me in again, generating a new one-time password, and I'm in again. Great. And this is an HP consumer solution for helping consumers not have to remember passwords yet manage a very secure login environment. That's correct. Simple, easy to use, but better security. Great. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you.